so tonight I am at Sichuan Tasty. We are in Bolin Heights. This is a brand new restaurant that came out, and um, this is legit Sichuan food. So I am super excited to try out the flavors. I actually saw the sauce go on my jean jacket earlier, and let me tell you, I sucked that sauce off my jacket. I was like, oh my god, this food is so good. Yeah, you did. That bothers me a lot, but you did. <laughs> okay, anyway, so let's try this out. Um, in front of me over here, we have like a stir fry kind of like. Is it pork? Is, it I think it looks pork. Yeah. Everything's gonna be spicy, everything's gonna have a little bit. Oh. How's it? Mm. It's spicy. No. I wanna try it. Oh, it's sweet. Mm. Mm, it tastes like bacon. Wow. wow. It tastes like bacon. It's like spicy bacon. Yeah. That's the best way you can describe it in non Asian words. Right? Yeah. Don't worry, I have like the perfect white people description for all this. So, there you go. all up to me. Alright, I am ready to just soak my rice in this spicy sauce because this spicy sauce is delicious. No, I don't think anyone actually eats that in China. Wait, really? I think it's just. Dude. The, oh my god. My blue CDs popping up. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I, have to, I have to bite this, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just got a wave of stuff. Oh, that is so good. Oh my god. Wait, really? Don't we eat that in China? I don't think so. That's well, if you eat this, it's basically dead. Oil. It's just all oil. So what is this one? Chicken chicken feet. Oh, okay. So this is their chicken feet kind of like um, soaked up in the spicy oil. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so this is their chicken feet kind of like um, soaked up in the spicy oil. actually makes it really spicy is what I think but like the first few bites are okay but after a while the water starts tasting funny everything else tastes weird oh. yeah man this is the fishy thing I'm telling you what my dad will not like that my dad doesn't like simple food and we got some uh this is called eight Thai over here like stir fried veggies I asked for this because I'm white I'm like I need some greens <laughs> I don't think that's the only thing. I think you just picked that specific A type. No, I know, but it's the closest white people vegetable on the menu. Is it? Yeah. I know what it is. I've had A type before. Well, no, I think it's more Taiwanese. Yeah, right? Mm. <coughs> yeah, it's good. So far, all the flavors are absolutely delicious. Um, what's this one? I'm not going to even try to translate it. Um, it's just beef. Is it beef? Yeah, it's beef and like okay. some tendons and... Tendons and veggies? Well, there's no veggies as you can tell. No, there's some mantra. That's not really veggies. No. Mm. Yeah, it's good. I really like that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take Brian here. When Brian comes back. No, but it's pretty boring in my house right now. There's not that many people here. Okay. And because I am like super white, I asked for Kong Pao chicken, which when I asked the chef to make me this, he's like, that's like the most boring dish. Well, I'm like, well, I'm white, so I need my Kong Pao chicken, something I can relate to. So let's try this. Apparently this is different from like the usual Cantonese version of Kong Pao chicken. Feels like a Sichuan version? Well, Sichuan so basically uses a little bit more vinegar. Mm. Or actually vinegar. Oh yeah. The flavors are definitely different. Yeah, it's gonna be different. Mm. Well, it's taste very the, good. It's very good. You can taste the mm. vinegar to it, but they're sweet. Yeah. It's surprisingly not spicy. You know what? what? This is actually really perfect because it's like a really cold day, and this is actually like eating me. Up. Yeah. This is great. Uh, so there's other stuff in here. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I think that's some tripe. Mm. Mm. 
really cut the yeah. rice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this place is awesome. Seriously, this spicy rice thing, delicious. Come on. I used to eat a lot of spicy food until my stomach completely gave up on me, but... You know what? Mm. I'm going to... Is this, this is a lazy season? Is this what they call it? Yes, lazy It's time to eat that fish. Okay. Right. Ooh, like, that fish is so, so soft. It just comes right off of me. Dude, I'm surprised. Like, like this is the best seller. Yeah. So it has like a whole bunch of seasonings on top, and the meat is like it's like perfectly filleted too. You don't need to like try too hard. To, like, no, I think no. It, it definitely is the uh, type of fish because mm -hmm. there's not much. What's that called? Bones. Yeah. You know how some fish is like out full bones. Yeah. This one's really easy to eat. Dude. Mm -hmm. Whatever they put on top, that's the stuff that, that really makes this fish pop. Even though it like looks overwhelming? Yeah, it actually looks really crazy when we first got it. We're like, ooh, is that, that's a fish, huh? Okay guys, I have got to tell you, this fish is the best seller in the world. Look at that. So the meat is perfectly filleted, so it just comes right off. There's so much seasoning on top. Look at that. Look at that piece of fish, dude. This is so good. Oh my god, it just melts in my mouth. Mm. <coughs> so good. Huh? Yeah. I know you also like fish too, like seafood and fish and stuff. Yeah, I could. So this is like your. Just took it out. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dude. Mm. I, I really, really, really like this veggie. Dude. Okay. I'm going to turn it back so we have the rest of everything here. I think we're shocked. Oh. <laughs> Is it really that weird? It's just very heavy. Like, it's, I don't think it's weird. I think it's just not a waste of eating, but it's just really heavy that no one really drinks it. It's just hard as hard. Well, you know what? I'm the kind of person that drinks the spicy hot oil soup as shampoo. Yeah, you do. So right. I'm like really weird in that sense. It's just different. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. kind of like going into India, you know, don't eat none or something, or use like other stuff, chopsticks or something. Different ways to eat. You want know funny though? My favorite dish is the compound chicken. Because <laughs> you like it? Though. Yeah, I do. I love compound chicken. I want to try this one. This one's so pretty, the way they present it. What? Yeah. Mm. It's uh, beef tongue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like numbing, mm -hmm. spicy beef tongue. Ooh, it's vermicelli mm. inside. I didn't know there was vermicelli. Wow. It's spicy though, be careful. It's numbing. I'm more used to this. Oh, really? The spicy, yeah. This type of food was like lit a few years ago in China. Mmm. Oh. So every time I go there, I get really crazy. Ooh. Numbed up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, lo I love vermicelli. It just makes the dish kind of like fire. Wait, is it vermicelli or vermicelli? Uh, either one. Oh, is it? Tomato, tomato. No. Ooh, that is spicy. I don't want to it. Maybe it was so spicy that they left. <laughs> this is pretty good though. This is like a stir fry bacon. 
I think this is the least non spicy. The least spicy, I should say. Hmm, you know. Sichuan has a lot of uh, like dried meat. I don't know how to say it in English, but they literally hang it up. Like, Jerky? Yeah, basically. Yeah. But it's like this cured. Oh. Yeah, and then they will cut it up and fry it with different food. Mm, yeah, G used to send it to me. He's like, dude, just just eat it back. So good. Oh, dude, his mom makes it. Alright guys, this next dish, it tastes like stir-fried bacon. So it's super dimly sliced meat um, with the spices. Mm. The flavor is so good. Yeah, it tastes like bacon. Mm. Yeah, I really don't know why you like the Kung Pao the most. I was really plain. Like just, just you know, just Kung Pao, yeah, just chicken. I like Kung Pao chicken. Like whenever I go to Panda Express, I always get Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. I don't think we've ever been to... Oh, well, we never went to Panda Express together. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright guys, this one, the one that's served in this crazy looking thing, it's got vermicelli in there and it's also, I took it out, but they have these um, peppercorns here. It makes the dish so nutty. But it's so good. If you guys love the uh, Sichuan Nami Spice, oh my god, I get addicted to it sometimes. But this is the beef tongue inside that pot. It also got noodles. Oh dude, beef tongue so sour. Wow. Ooh. That has a kick. Ooh. Okay, I have to say too, there's so much meat here. There is. Yeah, there's actually like a lot of meat. And I'm used to like Asian food being like more veggie. Well, that's because they're those so cheap places, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you see the place uses the same veggie yeah. for three different dishes, you know, like being cheap about it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, definitely. I love love it. I'm surprised because it's like a different way from probably how you normally eat it. No, I eat all kinds of pom pom chicken. I'm mm -hmm. a pom pom chicken enthusiast. Actually, the last time my family took me to China, I they asked me like, "What Chinese food do you want?" I was like, "Pom pom chicken." And then like it took me forever to find a restaurant that sold it. I'm so and, sad. Yeah, they're like, who the fuck eats pom pom chicken in China? I'm like, well, I like pom pom chicken. You have to literally like go to a restaurant and ask them. Yeah, people, it was they're pretty. Popular. They're not popular, but they're just like house dishes, like you know. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it was also in like my hometown, so like a little Chinese, like super small village. So I had to go into more like a hipster kind of cafe to have pom pom chicken because nobody sells it. Well, that's how you used to wear hipster in China. There's nothing hip about it. Well, like the more for young people. Probably bigger, yeah. For young people. Yeah. <laughs> it was more of like a cafe bistro style rather than like a local restaurant. Sit in. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna flip my way. Do you want more fish? Yeah. So these bones are super big. It's really easy to pick them up. Which is great. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Ah, fish are so much bigger. Honestly, it's super soft. I'm so... I haven't had good fish in a while, man. Better than me, I'm Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was the first thing I found in my head. Because you know, we, I think we also have something similar to this there too. Mm -hmm. And yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm really surprised because, well, by right, where's the Sichuan place near here? We always come here, we don't remember. Legit, like, it's just super fun. Yeah. My mouth is actually burning. This is actually satisfying my spicy craving. Yeah, I know. You've been talking about it. You're like, I'm in a spicy craving mood earlier, right? I think we're just talking about this. So this is what, like, the numbing stuff is what gets me. What? Yeah, it gets me hard, man. Really? Yeah. Cause you don't really get good numbing here, you know? Like, with my, with my friend Lee, like, this is a Trump place, right? Like, he comes here, he's like, man, nothing is spicy, you know? <coughs> Do you want more vermicelli actually or a bunch of vermicelli? 
You're gonna take here. <laughs> yeah, I know. When he actually makes his way Ooh. down here. Oh yeah, that definitely packs a cake. All of them. Everything just adds up. Oh, you're drinking oil, so. Okay. Maybe, right? I mean, it's probably getting stuck in your throat half the time. It feels good though. Really? I hate that feeling, dude. Oh. I hate it. That's why I think no one drinks it because it's so heavy. It just gets stuck as it goes down slowly and tortures you. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. I like the pain. A little bit must kiss. Yeah. I'm just surprised. This is the first time I think I had Asian style like beef top at a restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah, this place is like legit Chinese. I like how you. Said that. <laughs> oh crap! I like how you said that legit China. It is right. It's pretty legit. It's probably one of the most legit places I've been around. And me and my roommate was searching for like a good spicy Sichuan place. I found it. Yeah, you remember I used to, remember what I, what I was telling you? I was like, I like that spicy mix mix thing. Yeah. Spicy mix out of Timmins because yeah. it, it had this, right? Yeah. And you're like, it sucked. And I'm like, I know, but that's getting my cravings done. Bam. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, that's probably the most flavor. Because um, I get a lot of the sauce. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, I get a lot of the sauce. I get a big bowl of rice, and I just make more of the spicy sauce. And it's just so good, like with the uh, piche, the seaweed, and the pork here. Mmm. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why sometimes I like the shell tie at Kakao uh, Chow Mein. They have the uh, pork here on the side with the peanuts. No? Yeah, the spicy mix. No, we never got those. I get them. I get oh. them. Wow, thank you. Thank you for sharing. I thought you knew. You don't? No, you never told me. Because you're eating all the spicy food without actual food inside first, huh? Like you literally, your first bite was spicy. Yeah. Oh, the tea? Oh. oh my god. It just comes together so well. It's so good. I don't have to have this. Ask for more. No, I was going to get hot. No, yeah, I was just gonna say you can drink mine because I'll just drink hot tea. Thank you. Oh, oh, dude, wow. he is on top of it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my god, he just heard it. He just gave me a look. Ooh. Yes, no, that that if you guys come eat this food, you need to have this because this is the um, sweet tea. Sweet uh, tea, yeah. <laughs> if you drink the hot one, I mean, it's still good, but I mean, I grew up with that one. Yeah, and that, that's literally. My job. I, I guess, yeah. This is actually a very nice place. It's super quiet, even though it's like a super busy area around. I think today's a weekday, that's why. There was no parking outside though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that too. I like this. Yeah, it was good. It's like a crunchy snack. Yeah. I just don't like it. It's so light. I'm not gonna like it, it's still got a lot. Yeah, it is. Cause normally you'd be spitting everywhere with this. 
No, I'm gonna cut most of them. They make everything pretty easy, though. Yeah, I know. That's really like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is literally, you get what you get. There's no bones, so nothing sticking out, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's no bones, so nothing sticking out. Shut up. Okay, I want to try this. So this is their, like, kind of like mochi thing. Mochi. Mmm. Okay. I like that. It is dessert, though. I'm ready to later. Mm. Okay, let's split this fish. Right, I want to finish this fish. Oh my god, no. That's all you. I love this veggie so much. I'm so glad I called this. You're right, Itai is a more Taiwanese thing. Yeah, we, we, I've never had it before until here. I am Taiwanese. Yes. Alright, we've got Taiwanese. Come in. Who's in, right? Oh my god. All the powder goodness is on your shirt. Um, I'm gonna flip this fish. So the fun thing is, oh, actually, you can probably just. I want to point out that is so much compound chicken. Yeah, for for one dish. Oh, well, there you go. Whoa, dude, that look at that expert. Out. Expert, dude. No, I'm just saying, it just comes out the bone like that. Like that's crazy. Take some more of fish. Yeah. Actually, there's there's no bone in this. I just suck at picking it up because it's so soft. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here, wait, wait, wait. I have a little bit of this on top. Oh. You know, you're like mochi. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not. Oh, you have to finish with your food. Dude, man, mochi eats so fast. It, it kind of worries me a little bit. You're not going to look Really? Oh, this little girl. Nala is a grandma now, honestly. She's seasoned. Seasoned. <laughs> seasoned. Bad. She is. She, uh, she's way better though. Honestly, I'm pretty happy that she's healthier now. Yeah. Is it hitting yours? It's spot? hitting my stomach, yeah. I'm getting that capsaicin burn. If you guys want to feel the burn, yes. What's, what's, what's that word? Oh, is that the toxic inside the uh, spicy? Mm hmm. Hmm. Never knew that was. Dude. Actually, mostly all you. I don't like that. Because I'm not a big fan of uh, sugar fingers. Mm. When my parents and I were living in New York, we mm -hmm. went to this like nice little Chinese restaurant, right? Like this really cheap homemade food. And we saw chicken finger and we thought she could can. Chicken paw. So I ordered it and it was just literally <coughs> chicken fingers. American style chicken fingers. Oh, the mouth. Yeah. And my dad's like, what the hell is this? Or my mom's like, it's chicken fingers. Or like, I'm ordering that again. That's no, we just didn't expect that out of a Chinese restaurant. We're like, what? Why do you have this? This is like literally. White, 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 white. No, you just cheated us. My mouth so cheated. So it was like. Six bucks for a quart. Something ridiculous. Oh, right? Let's cater for that. Not Asian people, I guess. Yeah. Where were you? What state? Brooklyn. Are you close to that? Yeah. I'm not that good with your order. Okay, I'm done with the actual food for now. Please. Go for it, that's all you. I'm gonna keep eating. Alright guys, so we are killing the food, but we wanna tell you this local delicacy. I already took a bite so I know what it is. This is like kinda like brown sugar and outside it's like fried coated with like um, rice. So it basically just tastes like a mochi. Mm. So
Extra good Saturday. Oh, wait. It's not Saturday. Dude, I keep thinking it's Saturdays these days. When that fish came out though, I was like, oh, crap. that is the most like flamboyant looking fish I've ever seen. There's just so much chopped up like sauté sauce. I'm just surprised that it was so easily eaten and how much meat was on it. I think it's steam. It's a steam fish, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all like, because they're all the same color, so you can just spam a lot of these in that. Yeah. But at least they're a good chunk of meat. Yeah. Like, with bites, like, kind of, mm. That's like almost eight servings.
Okay, you definitely have to get this. Bacon is good. Bacon's good. I like the compound chicken. I know. I mean, honestly, it's... Kind of veggie. Here, here's what I'm understanding, like, when I come here, like, a lot of Chinese people I eat, I'm like, no, there's no way, like, not Asian do like it. I can see not Asian. Like, anything you order, the, the flavor isn't too offensive. No. Like, a lot of places, you know, like, or a food steak, I'm like, yeah, but, you know, it's a little too strong for, even for me. Like, if it, I'm not even a local, you know, like, it's strong for me at places. And that's why I don't like some of them. But, I'm okay with it. This is bomb. Okay. Right, I think we're done. Yeah. We'll take the rest off. Don't worry, nothing will go to waste. But um, yeah, you guys, if you guys want to come visit this place, there is a Diamond Plaza in Roland Heights. They're called Sichuan Tasty. You can see them right across the street. It's like when you walk through the parking lot, it's a big sign. Sichuan Tasty is Artemis. So come get some food, try some authentic Sichuan Chinese food. Um, if you come visit, let them like you. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.